Um, the course I'm developing, or courses that I'm going to be developing, um, are going to be environmental statistics courses. And this isn't where I started. I'm not a statistician. Um, but it seems like I keep being pulled into this direction. Um, I was doing a Fulbright in the Seychelles, which that is a picture from my phone. <laughs> uh, the beach we were at. Um, and it's a, it's a developing country. I went to the first faculty meeting, and afterwards there were 30 faculty members lined up to ask me to work on projects. And one of them was environmental statistics course, and that was the one that kind of caught my eye. Um, the other one, uh, predicting the stock market, I was like, mm, I don't think that's going to happen in a, you know, my six months here in the Seychelles. But so um, I was asked to do this, and um, it became a challenge. And I thought, well, cool, I can um, develop this course for the Seychelles and also develop one for my home institution. And maybe we can do some collaboration between the schools um, during that time. So I'm actually now developing three courses in environmental <laughs> statistics. I don't do things easily. I always bite off a little more than I can chew. Um, I'm developing a general education course in introductory statistics. It will be labeled introductory statistics with a little note on the bottom. This will be entirely environmentally focused. So I'm hoping to attract students who have an environmental interest. We just started an environmental studies department, or not department, but program, and I'm hoping those are the students that decide they want to come into it. Um, I also am helping our statistician to develop an upper division course. So take the same course, and the students that want to go on and take an upper division, they'll have an opportunity to do that. We just now have a minor in statistics. We're making it into a major, so this just helps our program. And then the last, the, the, well, the one that started it all was a five-week short course um, for students in the environmental studies program at the University of Seychelles. So um, for the general education course, students will use the same textbook, uh, basic, you know, introductory statistics course. All my examples in lecture, my group work will be uh, with an environmental focus. Um, so that's where I'll have to do a lot of curriculum work. But the biggest thing is the students will do semester-long projects on an environmental topic. I'll be working with two um, nonprofit agencies. One is the Fresh Water Society, and the other one is the Lower Phelan Creek Project. People ask me all the time, well, how did you get hooked up with these people? I went to the internet, I plugged in uh, nonprofit environmental agency, St. Paul, Minnesota, hit return, got 30 of them, sent out an email to all 30 saying, this is what I want to do, is anyone interested? I had an enormous response. I couldn't believe how many people were interested in this. And I told them, this is an introductory course. We may not be able to provide a whole lot to you. You know, I mean, I want it to be a partnership. I want to be giving you something that's useful. But we've got to be realistic. But I said, I'm doing this upper division, and I want to do the exact same thing. Those students will be able to give you something that can be really useful. But my lower division will too, but you know, I, I, I want to you know, make it a real partnership. Um, the upper division stats course, i give you all the stuff that we're going to be covering, but they'll also be doing these semester long group projects where they work with data from these two agencies um, and give them some feedback on, on different things. Um, for the University of Seychelles, they have one mathematician that works for them, the whole university. Um, and he's completely overwhelmed. <laughs> and so I have to completely develop this course. Um, I mean, everything, every lecture will be on a PowerPoint. Every, although we had lots of LCD projectors in the classrooms in the Seychelles, and there was no way to connect to them. So I'm not really sure PowerPoint is the great, the really the good thing for me to do, because they just stood there. And I was like, well, OK, I, there's no. No, no connection whatsoever to these. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Um, and before I left, I had connected with two NGOs that were really excited to work with their student, with these students, and provide them data and, and build a partnership with the students there. So, um, and I think that's that's my big thing is, is building these partnerships and actually contributing to the community with our with our math knowledge and our statistics knowledge, and and helping them out as much as they're helping the students. The students find this so rewarding. Um, I've done this before in a regular statistics course, and the, the big thing is the action at the end. You know, getting your students to go and present to a board um, the stuff that they, you know, what they found out. They're, you know, they don't care what they impress me. They care that they impress these other people. You know, so it's for them that's a big step. Or having to write a letter and give their report to some agency and say, this is what I did in my statistics class. I hope it can be of help to you in uh, making future decisions. So that's me. That's, that's what I'm doing.